te llamas? Casey Jones. Gracias. Muy bien, seguimos hablando aquí en Nueva York de las tortugas ninja en su segunda aventura. ¿Sí, Fen? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Cómo estás? Gracias por tu tiempo. Estar en el set, ¿cómo fue practical y cómo fue CGI? Bueno, obviamente, los turtles son CGI. Así que cuando estoy actuando con ellos, pero, quiero decir, el layer entero es real, ¿verdad? Y muchos de los turtles que yo hice en el set son CGI. Entonces, la mayoría de la cosa que yo hice es Casey Jones. Eso fue todo de trabajo práctico. Todo muy práctico. Todo muy práctico. And you got experience of that, you know, in the fighting, the jumping, running, all that. So, was like pretty much the same, or was like a particular? Well, I mean, from Arrow, there were some adjustments because Casey Jones has a different fighting style, right? So I didn't want to just come in and, and be this finely tuned uh, fighting machine because that's not who Casey Jones is. Casey Jones may have never been in a fight before in his entire life that wasn't on a hockey rink, right? So we wanted to really imbue him with a particular kind of. Combat style, like a brawler. Heard of me? I feel like the stunt coordinator and the fight choreographer really did a good job designing those fights. Una pregunta. Ustedes dos son novios. Or... The show is going amazing, and, and Arrow is like super popular. So, how, how do you feel of the res response of the fans and all the audience in Latin America who is very crazy? About I'm fired that. up. I mean, to be able to get to season five is uh, is incredible. Um, it's where you want to get to as a show. You get to 100 episodes, that's a big milestone. And, um, you know, I'm having fun playing the character still. It's a lot of work. But, you know, I've, I've gotten used to the cycle and the, and, the, and the sort of ups and downs and ebbs and flows that come with the season. And uh, it's good, man. We're very yeah. fortunate. Will, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Your character is super fun, very hilarious, very, you know. Oh, thanks. Very humble in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, in this in this opportunity, the experience on the set, how much was practical and how much was like CGI and special effects? Well, you know, it, it's really, it really sort of depends. Like, you know, when we're in a scene with the, with the turtles, um, even the simplest kind of walking and talking scene, is the guys wearing motion capture suits and then later it's all CGI, the entire character. You know, it's, it takes a lot of work and a whole team of people at ILM to create that. Oye, ¿quieres traer de vuelta al Moicano? Te queda bien. Te crees gracioso, eh? If you're on the set with the guys on the on the you know the motion capture suit, yeah, and they, yeah. they do everything on the computer, of course. But it's that is more easy to work with a green screen with a tape, right? It's like much better. You know, they they do have tennis ball or not tennis balls, uh, ping pong balls on the top of their head. Um, so you got to kind of remember to look up there while you're talking to them because the you know, but which is the hardest thing because I half the time will start there and then I end up looking them in the eye and I'm like, oh god. Um, and then you have to like look up at the sky at some huge thing, or you know you're driving the car and like, you know, all of a sudden the debris is falling out of the sky. <sighs> you know, you gotta fall and like crash and all that kind of stuff. Super you know? fun. It's weird, you know. It's 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 yeah. You have to uh, you just have to kind of imagine it. But to it's be like there. like a be a kid. Right? No, yeah, like a, a little, little bit. Time, yeah. yeah, a little bit. 